we are gathered here to welcome new family members. Please enjoy yourselves. Huh. What about my mother's food? Apparently, I'm not family, so I will take my leave. Trouble Busters! Helen, are you coming home late again? Hmm, I'm going out with some friends after work, so maybe a little bit? I see. Friends? What is that? Big time IT company Info Buster Limited was found to be producing fraudulent earnings report. My name is Mary. I'm 48 and I work as a CEO for an all-organic makeup brand. I'm enjoying living with my daughter, Helen. I'm home. Sorry I know it's late. Welcome home. How was dinner with your friend? <laughs> Something nice happened, actually. What is it? Your face is a little red. Ta-da! I was proposed to by my boyfriend today. Wow, proposed? I'm so glad to hear that. I would like to meet your boyfriend. Yeah, I'll bring him over sometime. The next day. Mom, his name is Jacob. He runs a bar. Nice to meet you. I'm Helen's mother, Mary. Yo, I'm dating Helen. I'm still new to this business thing, so I've got a lot to learn. It's a lot more difficult than I thought, but Helen is always by my side, so it totally helps. Really? Helen is a devoted child. I just want to be by his side. She really does work hard for me. She even comes by late at night or early in the morning if I tell her that I'm hungry. Huh? You call her up at night? I... I see. I don't want to judge him by his looks, but he seems... easy. I hope he doesn't think that Helen is just an easy girl that will listen to him. Helen, where did you meet Mr. Jacob? I went to his bar with a co-worker. He was looking for a kind woman who would devote herself to him, so my co-worker suggested me. What did you say? That you were cute? Yeah, yeah. He's been supporting his mother and really struggled early on, so I think he's really good, you know? And now he's even a business owner, so... I... I see. So are you taking good care of her? Yeah! He always says that I need to be with him or that he can't live without me. Such a sweetheart! I was pretty worried and didn't trust him. A few days later, we were all going to meet up with each other's family before the wedding, but... Thank you for inviting me out to this wonderful place. I'm Helen's mother. Nice to meet you. I'm Jacob's mother. You wear some old clothing, don't you? It's not moldy or anything, is it? Huh? Miss Helen is beautiful and went to a great college. I've heard from Jacob that her household is also great. Th thank you. But did you really get in through your skill? You didn't get in through some illegal means, did you? Seducing a teacher or something? What? Calm down, guys. Let's take a seat. Um, are you guys against our marriage? Oh, we're not against it, but it's a little weird. What? what is? Would a good girl like Helen really come from someone who's a dropout? Your father was a doctor. You must feel proud of him, Miss Helen. Uh, uh, yes? My father was a doctor, but my mother was the one who taught me all the time and showed me the joy in studying. My father passed away when I was in elementary school. Oh, that's the other thing that we're worried about. Huh? We want to welcome you, but you're part of a single parent household. What's wrong with being raised by a single mother? People who are raised by one parent are more prone and likely to be a criminal later on. What are you talking about? Ah, there's dinner. Let's eat. We are gathered here to welcome new family members. Please enjoy yourselves. Huh? Where is my mother's dinner? She doesn't have any, of course. What do you mean? The reason that we invited her here was to tell her what we think about it. This wonderful, young, and beautiful Helen had to grow up in a single mother household because of you. What? I don't understand. You're not even self-aware. How stupid of you. People who are involved in accidents are usually having a bad time at home. A bad wife is the reason he was involved in an accident. I've learned this common sense through working at HR. Dad, you really figured out your own morals and ethics, haven't you? Just like my husband said, the reason that Miss Helen's father passed away was because of his useless wife. That's why Miss Helen was forced to grow up in a chipped and lagging household without enough love. People who don't have enough love don't respect themselves and they also don't value others' lives as well. But Helen takes great care of me. You are too kind, Jacob. Jacob wants to marry Miss Helen, so we're going to take this broken woman in. She might help him. Of course, we're going to have her work for us as a new family member as well. What? I didn't hear about that. Also, since we're taking on this broken item, you will all handle the wedding fees. Whose daughter are you calling broken? What is going on, Jacob? I thought you were marrying me because you loved me. Love? Oh yeah, I like you. My parents are pretty blunt, but they're not wrong, are they? <laughs> no way. We're all done. Now get out. I'm not family, so goodbye. 
Oh, you can stay, Miss Helen. You're going to be working for us as a family. What is wrong with these people? I didn't know that Jacob was like that. I'm so sorry, Mom. It's okay. People like people and love makes people blind. You just use this as a life lesson. You should be happy you figured it out before you got married. I can't just leave like this and pretend nothing happened. Yeah, that's true. Let's really chase them down and corner them and make them pay. Troublebuster. Trouble so how are we going to Troublebuster? What is the best way? This is it. This is how we take our revenge. Miss Helen T. This old bitch! I'm going to spit in her tea! No, no. I need to find a weakness to trouble bust them. Yes, ma'am. One moment. Here you are. Green tea. Wait, this is my mom's makeup brand. Excuse me, Miss Helen. If you have time to stand around, go to the next task. Y yes ma'am. Clean up my husband's office, will you? Damn it, this pisses me off. Why do I have to clean up around the house? Oh, here we go, Officer Helen. I think we might have found some nice little classified information that is in an unsecured location. Let's go, Miss Murray. Yeah. Do you have a second, honey? Yeah, what is it, dear? Oh, well, hello, Miss Mary. Long time no see. It has been a minute. I'm sorry for the sudden intrusion. What are you talking about? You're always welcome here. My wife is so beautiful in part thanks to your makeup. Yeah, you have no idea how much younger your makeup helps. I look at least 10 years younger, but that's not why we're here today. Sir, I want you to look at something. What is it? I have some information on your HR manager. Get him over here now! Uh, sir, I heard you needed me. What did you need, sir? Wait, Helen's toxic parents! What are you doing here? How dare you talk to her like that! What? What do you mean, sir? She's a life savior to our family. She's essentially our family member. Huh? A family? Yes. Oh, the word family reminded me. But did you know that my daughter Helen and his son Jacob are engaged? Oh, really? So you were really going to be part of his family? That was the plan, but after the party, they told me that I was the reason my husband passed away. I was useless, and Helen is now lacking in love, so she is going to eventually be a criminal. What? On top of that, they said that they would take my daughter, a broken product, and in return, I would have to cover the wedding fees. You! You clearly have no idea how to read people. You cannot be the HR manager anymore. Her late husband saved us in a tunnel accident and risked his own life in doing so. She had just lost her husband, but she still helped us out. She took care of our daughter so that our daughter wouldn't have to go to a facility. What? I didn't know that. Yes, you clearly don't know anything. You don't know anything, and yet you call her a toxic parent. What did you base your judgment on? Well, uh, she's a dropout and is a single mother. Shut up! You think that's good enough reason to judge someone? You're the rotten one eating away at society. Get the hell out of this company now! Sir, you can't just say that. I think you're under the influence of this witch. You dare insult me now? Look, this is America. You can't just wrongfully terminate someone's contract. You're sitting here claiming she's your savior and that's the reason you want to fire me? I don't know if that's a smart idea. Ha ha ha. I win, loser. Is that all you have to say? Huh? Is there something else? There are a few words that fit you. What is it? You don't have to be so kind to me and compliment me. Backstabber. Digging your own grave. Disloyal. W what did you say? It kept you in this company because you worked here for so long. And we couldn't find enough evidence to tie you to the fraudulent earnings report, but... How dare you return the favor like this? Yeah, well, you still saw fit to cut my pay and bonus. Ah, that's the reason, huh? You want to sell our company secrets to other companies? Is that right? W why are those here? You thought that maybe if you stole our secrets, you could find someone else that would hire you with better terms? Corporate fraud? I don't even need to figure you. The police will take good care of everything. B police Wait, hang on! Stop! One month later... Ever since he's been arrested, our house has been a mess. I need to secure the contract to run this franchise for Tristone Makeup. I cannot be running around doing individual sales. Hello, I'm here to see the CEO. Yes, ma'am, we've been expecting you right this way. A female CEO, I'm going to praise the crap out of her and make her mine. Thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to see me today. But we've met already, haven't we? Nice to meet you. I'm honored to be in the presence of such a successful woman. Hmm, did she say we've met? 
have I met any CEOs lately? Huh? Wait. Helen's mother? Yes, I'm Helen's mother and the CEO of Tristone Makeup Company. Wh what? Thank you for all of the great first impressions. You have no idea how infuriated I was. I, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that Miss Helen's mother was the CEO of such a big business. I'm so sorry. Would you have treated me differently if you had known that I was the CEO of Tristone? Of course, I would have treated you both as royalty. <laughs> Let's cut the shit. Ah! I absolutely abhor those who treat others differently based on their status or title. No, ma'am, I'm sorry. What I meant is that you are a wonderful woman who raised such a beautiful and kind woman, so I would have treated you with respect. That sounds completely different from what you were saying before. You said that I had turned her into a felon waiting to happen and that I didn't give her enough love. N no way! Miss Helen is as smart as her mother. She's too good for our Jacobs. She must really have a great house. That's strange, because you seem to treat her like a slave. I would never! You make her pick up trash that you threw on the ground. You push putting in tea and cleaning and laundry onto her. N no, she's been working out of her own goodwill because she was raised in such a wonderful household. I've been so grateful for her, and I would assume such a wonderful, kind daughter would only come from the most gracious mothers. Please sign this contract for a franchise. You want me to allow you to run a franchise for me? Yes! After Miss Helen marries my Jacob, we will be family! It will be easy. I will sell your products and they will be flying off the shelf. No, I would never sign a contract with you. And Helen is not going to marry Jacob. We will never be family. But, but why? Really think about it on your own first. You didn't even serve me a single cup of water when you were supposed to be welcoming new family. You were the one that said we aren't family. Skin is very responsive to what happens around you. You will never be beautiful because of how rotten you are on the inside. I would never sign a contract with that kind of person. Not a single one of our products will be on your shelves. But, but I need money. Please save me. Hey, Helen, come back to me, please. We were supposed to get married. Are you really waiting for me? Gross! The fact that I was engaged to you is just disgusting. Get the hell away from me! Why? You really liked me, right? I was seriously such an idiot back then. You didn't even love me, did you? Why would you say that? Then what's the most important thing to you? The most important thing? Yes, family is the most important thing to me. For family, I would sacrifice myself. That's why, no matter how tired I am, I went to you to help. Right. Y you cared about me, right? Yes, you were important. But thinking back after calming down, you never put me first for anything. Uh, really? Yeah, not once. You just thought I was a convenient little maid. No, a slave. That's not true. Then go shave your hair off. Hair will grow back. I think you'd look good bald. You want me to shave your hair for you? S stop! I need my hair to look good! Yeah, you only love yourself. You're worse than ticks to me. You are horrible and self-centered and you just listen to everything mommy has to say. I can tell what you're thinking now, so just looking at you gives me hives. Do not be within a mile of me. Huh? You better not get ahead over yourself. I'm struggling and you're not even trying to help. He's a stalker, him! What? A stalker? Stop! Eat shit, triple trouble buster! What happened to his family? Well, Jacob's father was sentenced to five years in prison for laundering. Jacob and his mother both stopped living such a lavish life. They now live in a beat-up apartment. His mother works graveyard shifts at a can factory, and Jacob couldn't pay off his loans for his bar and has been chased around by loan sharks. Mom, this was really seriously my fault. It's fine. We're able to live a nice life now. You really just have to appreciate what we have now. That's true. Also, I kind of had fun trouble busting with you, Mom. <laughs> Me too, dear. This was a pretty tough experience for us, but this brought our bond closer. We're not going to keep fumbling around. We're both going to live our lives strong and proud. Trouble buster.